Greetings, fleshy mammals, and welcome back to another Naruto Naruto Shinobi Striker video. Around this time last year, I actually did a very similar topic to this one, and that was whether or not Shinobi Striker should get a season two. Now, I made that video way before season two was even announced, and seeing as season three seems to be a pretty hot topic right now, I decided, hey, let's make a video about it. Let's talk about it. Um, I actually also did a poll yesterday on the community tab, asking you guys if Shinobi Striker should get a season three. And well, of course, 77% of you guys said yes and 23% of you guys said no, we should get a new Naruto game. So let's talk about it. Without further ado, let's get into it. Let's go. I'll erase you here. So as much as I do want a brand new Naruto game in 2020, I also do want Soul Eel to continue working on Shinobi Striker. Now it's not too far-fetched to assume that there would be a completely different studio working on a new Naruto game, and also have Soul Eel continuing to do what they're doing with Shinobi Striker. Now the big thing about a Season 3, in my eyes, is that I don't think that we should get as many characters. Honestly, um, there's there's a handful of characters that a lot of fans want in the game um, that actually should be in the game, such as, you know, like Shino, Neji, and all that. Honestly, I don't really want to talk about the characters as much. The really big thing that I really want in a Season 3 is that there should be more maps. Now this was actually something that I discussed in the Season 2 video almost a year ago. I honestly don't think there's enough maps in the game. We got, what, like four or five maps in the base game mode? And yes, they do have night-daytime variations. For the Rain Village, it's rainy and not rainy, but you guys get the point. We don't have enough maps. Maps are so important when it comes down to the core gameplay loop, and when you're playing on the same maps over and over and over and over, it's just, it gets really repetitive really fast. So what I propose is that for Season 3, we get, say, six characters, and then we get three new maps. I don't think the maps should be paid for because in doing so, it actually splits up the player base. What I propose is that season three, they introduce three new maps into the game throughout the character launches and they just add them in as updates, very similar to how they did with the survival exercise. We can do actually a couple things here where we can have um, my suggestions for the maps. Uh, we got the Hidden Mist Village, which we still have yet to have in quite a few Naruto games. Um, I'd actually love to see that implemented in Season 3. There's also the Hidden Stone Village, which of course we have seen in Boruto already. We've seen the New Age um, Hidden Mist Village in Boruto, you know, the anime. And we've also seen the Hidden Stone Village in the anime as well. So I'd like to see both of those implemented in some way because right now we have... We have the Hidden Rain Village, we have the Hidden Leaf Village twice, we have the Sand Village, and we have the Cloud Village. Now, my biggest issue with the maps is that only a few of them are actually really good. In my opinion, the Cloud Village is absolutely the worst map in the game. It is actually the worst map, the worst put together map. It looks good, but it, it does not play as well as some of the other maps in the game. Um, so I would love to see the Hidden Mist Village and the Hidden Stone Village. Both of those are in the anime, so we've seen them in action. We've seen how they look, so I'd really like to see them. And let's talk about the survival exercise, okay? So we have the tuning exam. Uh, map stage thing. Uh, we have the tuning exams, but we don't really have anything else. So just like in the season two video, I propose two options. The five Kage summit map, which would actually be pretty damn cool uh, because it's a big open space, you know, where the Raikage and Gara fought against Sasuke. Uh, we can use that map or uh, something a little bit more interesting would be the Kamui dimension where we fight on those square block thingies. You guys know what I'm talking about, but yeah, we can do that or just a generic land of iron snowy village where we can fight in that. So there's a bunch of different options for maps as far as Season 3 goes that I would really like to see added. Once again, the Hidden Mist and Hidden Stone Villages are huge missed opportunities here where 
it would just be absolutely amazing to get those maps and play in those maps because again we've already seen them in action we see what they look like in the new age but we don't have them i would love to see them added to the game and once again i propose that they are added in as free updates rather than paid dlc and as for characters let's talk about the characters for a second I would love to see more Boruto characters in this game because everything else is Shippuden. We have, what, three Boruto characters right now? We got Mitsuki, we got Boruto, we got Sarada, and then there's also, for DLC, we have Boruto Sasuke. We're probably going to end up getting Hokage and Naruto, so that would make five Boruto characters, but Naruto and Sasuke are still Shippuden characters. All right, I would love to see maybe Shinki, Chocho, Inojin, Shikadai, Iwabe, Denki maybe, you know, stuff like that. Or maybe even uh, some cooler characters, something that isn't the Genin of the Leaf, you know? We got, we got Kagura, maybe we can get some of the new five Kage, such as Chojuro, Kurosuchi, uh, maybe we can get Darui or something, you know, maybe adult Konohamaru. There's a ton of different options that I feel like are missed opportunities, and considering that adult Konohamaru is already in the game as a player model, feels like another missed opportunity that Soliel has unfortunately done. We also have Shino, who already has a character model and even a move in the game. So there's a ton of different options that I feel like Soliel can add into the game. So yeah, those are my thoughts on a season three. I really do hope that we do get a season three that fixes a lot of the bugs that are currently existing within the game and also adds in brand new maps. That is something I cannot stress enough. New maps are something that we need to deepen the gameplay loop and add a little bit more variety to our gameplay because once again we've been playing on the exact same maps since pretty much launch so having new maps is definitely important to having a more varied gameplay experience but yeah that's just my opinion so let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about a season three should we get a season three or should soliel just not develop this game anymore and we should just get a different naruto game for 2020 so yeah just let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below as ever, this video, peace out. It's been casual.